What's up guys, back again, bringing you another video, checking out some new mountain guitars I saw on AliExpress here, and it seems as though they've changed up their design here, and it looks a lot like what they're going for is kind of an Ormsby Goliath look here. Uh, if you look at older mountains, you know they kind of go with a Strandberg style, but they definitely changed up their design here, and I really like the way that they're doing the colors on these guitars. This is like a um, spalted maple top is what they say, um, but it looks really nice. I'm not sure why they're trying to do the whole fan fret thing. I like this here. This is really nice. Um, definitely trying to change up things here in terms of like the the whole bridge and locking system. I really like the way that looks, um, but you kind of have to stay away from making things a little more over-engineered than they need to be. But uh, I really like this. Again, the no frets. <laughs> Not going to go there. Um, I like the neck, though. And you can see that uh, it's trying to be... I'm not sure. I've seen... What I've heard... If these people are really trying to keep up with Strandberg... <clears throat> excuse me. Is that Strandberg is actually... On their latest guitars, have kind of toned down the Endure neck to where... Because... Most of the time, the Endure Neck has a very sharp kind of edge to it to kind of remind you to keep your thumb there. But I heard from Ola Strandberg that they're actually like rounding it off a little bit so it's a little more subtle uh, as opposed to being very pronounced in the previous versions of the Endure Neck. And you can see here, I, I can't really tell if like the edges of the guitar, I mean, the edges of the neck are kind of starting where the black lines are. But it does look like some type of Endure neck. I'm not sure though. It could just be the lighting in the picture, but uh, if they're trying to keep up with Strandberg, um, see here it's again, no, I think it's just flat because you can see down here on the heel, it would be different on the heel and it would also be different near the top, but yeah, some of the newer Strandbergs are dealing with that older, uh, I mean the newer style of Endure neck. But uh, that's a nice little guitar here. This one here is really cool. This is like a burled, um, <clears throat> burled neck. I'm sorry, burled neck. A burled, <laughs> burled body dummy. Speak. But yeah, this one looks cool. I really like the way they're doing this. But I don't really like. I don't know why people get stuck on this design here. This Kiesel does the same thing where they do the blue and gray, and I don't know why they would do that. Why don't they do blue and green or like blue and purple? Gray is such a, I don't know, it would be like a, my last choice for a fade in terms of like a guitar coloration. Definitely sticking with the good bridges though. Same type of top here. I don't really like that. And that looks like a bird's eye maple neck. Oh, they got little, is that the lighting? I can't tell if those are actually red dots on the knobs. Or if that's actually just the lighting, maybe the flash. Yeah, definitely looking nice on the necks. These mountains, they're really impressing me lately. Of course, mountain, crate, whatever. They're pretty much one and the same. But uh, this is like an older one here. This was crate, because I remember this crate because it had the koi fish on it. This is one of the first crates I saw. Um, of course, they've changed their name to Mountain now, but yeah, this is definitely, this was a crate guitar um, not too long ago. I don't know why they try rebranding themselves. I like this bridge. It's nice. There's so many subtle differences in a lot of these guitars that you see. The bridges, uh, nice zero fret. I like that. Uh, they change up the bridges um, just ever so slightly, and if you, know, you didn't pay attention you know, to someone like me, you wouldn't really notice it, and they've got the Endure Neck on this here. You can see how it starts up there, and you can see how the edge of the Endure Neck there is really apparent. But yeah, I'm really liking this mountain and where they're going with a lot of their designs. Um, definitely impressive. Oh, this is Big John. Oh, God. Definitely stay away from these guys. They use the Overlord of Trash. You do not want that. And also, I was checking out this GOC. <laughs> I don't understand who designed this. I mean, this is just bad. Ugh. What is this hump? I don't understand what this hump is for. <laughs> like, who thought... 
who thought, hey, let's put a big hump on the guitar. I mean, why not? But yeah, the Vajra here is cool. Uh, the Materia, those are two that I've worth checking out. And then this here, I don't understand this. Ugh, this is terrible. It's got the Overlord music. These knobs are awful. And this paint, ugh, yuck. Man, I don't understand how, how people design these. Yeah, definitely not good. But yeah, guys, check out some of the new mountain guitars on uh, AliExpress. I'm coming out with some really nice designs. Let's check out Best Match here real quick. Now, this one here, this is another mountain that's nice. And look, it's got fret markers. Amazing. Amazing science. Uh, there was the one I was going to buy. Eh, but anyways, tomorrow I get my PV. And there will be an unboxing of the PV V-Type. This would be a nice guitar if they wouldn't make it eight strings. God, eight strings. Why? Why would you want eight strings? Anyways, guys, check them out. Mountain, doing good stuff. I'm glad to see they're still making new designs and sticking around because... I don't know. I think they're probably one of the best ones right now. I've probably put them up against the NK. I think they do uh, pretty well. Anyways, guys, that's my video. Leave your questions, comments below, and stay tuned because the PV unboxing is coming tomorrow. So stick around.